Yeah, the, the, the fans were great. You know, it, it went this year from, you know, a uh, little buzz to a loud gym. Man, they were excellent today. And it was it was a big time environment and it was a lot of fun. And uh, again, it was fun to have my daughter here as part of it. You know, it's just, it's fun to grow up in, into this community. You know, this is our 12th year here. How excited were your guys to play in front of all these young fans? And we see them out there uh, signing autographs and uh, uh, right now giving high fives to all these little kids. Yeah, you know what? We got good guys, okay? And, uh, you know, they're not perfect, but none of us are. And, uh, you know, they're, they're good for this community, and the community is good for them. So this is special. I'm very happy about our performance today. I, I thought that we uh, had a desire to dominate in the second half, even though we were, we were up big, um, which I wanted to see. Um, just a lot of people did good things. And, uh, yeah. Just, there's a lot of positives going into the break and into a great holiday season uh, with, with a great meaning for the holiday season. Certainly uh, here in the last couple games, one of the big uh, reasons and one of the big keys has been your unselfishness. 34 assists here for the second game in a row. Yeah, we're, and we're shooting extraordinarily well. Um, don't know if we should save some of those for later. I'm not sure, but when, when you do shoot the perimeter shot, your assists go up. Usually it's the one pa that extra pass, and those are easy assists when they go in. So I do like the ones where we're creating and, you know, layups for each other. Those assists are always the best for us. But, you know, I, I, I think they're coming along. This group's coming along. You know, we got a tough league. We always have. I just I enjoy competing. Um, and this, this group's starting to define themselves, and that's special. Obviously, you mentioned coming in, uh, going to play just eight guys today. All eight played uh, 21 minutes or more, and you had two guys that were one point short of the entire team uh, being in double figures here in the ballgame. Yeah, and that was the same as the other night. Uh, well, two points short each the other night. So, um, but these guys, th these guys really don't care about that. And, uh, and matter of fact, a, a couple of them, you know, when it gets in a game like this, it's like Cushenberry. You know, he's going to score five points in a game like this and, and 25 in a big game. So. Um, the big thing for us is uh, developmental. We saw some things. We got better in our zone tonight, which was good. Um, you know, we just want to keep developing toward our full potential. So I think we took steps. Obviously, uh, now you get the holiday break uh, here, a chance to enjoy some family time uh, here for the next week or so before you come back on December 29th against East West University. Yeah, we have a couple injuries that we want to take care of. And... Uh, you know, we, we, we want to watch some high school basketball over break, um, some recruits to touch base with, and then we'll come back to 27, start practicing, um, hanging out. You know, we got some things over break planned uh, for the team, uh, some bonding and some connecting and to work on that. But, uh, yeah, we'll get back in the groove for East-West, and then, you know, we only get to play Grand Valley once this year, so the rivalry game's at their place, and, uh, you know, we'll shoot for that one on the third also. Well, Coach, best of luck uh, here in the new year, and uh, we'll certainly look forward to seeing you on the 29th. Happy holidays. All right. Merry Christmas, Robert. We'll be back in two minutes with more coverage of Bulldog basketball right here on Sunny.